Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Act 7, Chapter 3, Quest Number 2. All right, you see the team that I'm going in here with. I will talk more about those synergies because they are important. Uh, but first, I want to show you the path that I consider to be the easiest path given the champions I had available. Now, I'm actually going to cheese this path with OG Thor. I had him at rank four and I took him to rank five for this. And, you know, probably playing around with him in the future. I don't have him as a six star. All right, so you can see the active buffs that we have on there. You buffed up, so you need to have at least three buffs to do any damage. Um, but one of the things I wanted to point out is the synergies. Now I tried this path without the synergies and you can do it but the experience was very different uh the fights were much longer the furies didn't last as long it, it just wasn't as pleasant as what you're gonna see here all right now let's talk a little bit about the synergies and how they made og thor back into the god of thunder that he used to be all right just look at this this is a five star doing this okay so we have nick fury and deadpool x-force that's not directly enhancing thor but because i run suicides um it's i think it's the res restoration kit for one time in the fight it will remove a bleed poison what have you and you'll notice in the fights that I don't take any bleed damage. Just watch during the next fight. I have both double edge and liquid courage, but you'll notice that that bleed is not there. It goes away just like that. That's because of the Nick Fury and the Deadpool X-Force synergy. See, watch this, see? Now, what you saw, you don't see any bleed here. Now, in this fight, it was actually quite important to have Odin and the pre-fights active. Not just because they were three buffs, but because it limited the amount of damage that I took right there against Jubilee. Okay, now I messed up here, which means I'm gonna have to heal up a little bit. But in any case, Odin, not there just for his pre-fights. Okay, he's gonna give the three buffs that you saw me put on but he also has a synergy with Thor and Hela. And they increase the duration of his buffs for each fight that the team has won. So every fight that I'm winning, the buffs are lasting longer and longer. And then finally, we have Captain America Infinity War, who adds, I believe it's a 25% buff duration. So. It is insane. Now, you can do it, like I said, without these synergies, but it is not as nice. Just look at how fast OG Thor is ripping this up. These are some beefy guys on this path, and he's a five-star. Look at him. He's tearing it up. So, and, and look at the health. I did have to heal up, but just look at that. That is insane, insane. So OG Thor is probably one of the better options for this path. Now, when you're looking at whether a path is gonna be the easiest path for you or not, it's gonna depend on who you have available. So if you don't have OG Thor for this path, you have to look and see if you have anyone else that might do as well. You know, like um, you have Angela who can do this path. You have um, Hyperion who can also do this path very well. Uh, so if you have any of those, OG Thor, Hyperion, Angela, they all do very well. And I, when I saw Cosmic, I was like, oh, maybe I can use Hercules. Not as good. Because he doesn't really, I don't think he gets the the furies 
that he needs to to be a true beast on this path. Uh, but I haven't tried it, and I didn't see anybody else trying it. But why would you if you have even this OG Thor? Um, so I would recommend OG Thor, if you don't have OG Thor, Angela, or Hyperion. And if you have those, then this will be the easy path. There are other paths that are pretty easy, but it's going to depend on what you like, what you can deal with, and the champions that you have. Okay? So, OG Thor is just, just tearing this path up. I have had a lot of fun in Act 7, and it's because of stuff like this. Act 7 is so much better than Act 6, it's not even funny, okay? This is fun. I'm just enjoying myself here, okay? Now, there are some other paths I know that'll be a little bit more difficult, but I have not had any paths that haven't been pretty fun if you have the right counters for them. But in this video, I wanted to show you what path I consider the easiest, given that you have maybe OG Thor, Hyperion, Angela, or somebody that just generates a lot of Furies uh, that's a Cosmic. And this path will be actually quite nice. If you have Odin with the pre-fights, anybody can have three buffs. So it's, it's awesome. Um, I think I, I've even seen some people uh, do this path with um, Corvus. I don't know how well he does it, but I don't think he could do it as well as OG Thor. All right. Now, this fight here was a little bit annoying because, of course, you have to catch her out of diamond form. And she likes to fire that special. Catch her out of diamond form and armor breaker like that. Now she can't go back into diamond form. Okay, so I had to take a lot of blocked hits and everything. Because um, that's just the way I know to do it. Okay, and I just had to keep armor breaking her so she wouldn't go back into that form. And then I'm like, I can finish this off. And just like that, we have cleared the path. We had one little mistake where I had to heal up. But other than that, very, very clean uh, path run for OG Thor. Now we come to the boss. All right, we've got three different bosses here. And I'm going to go with Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan has hashtag metal. Anytime you see hashtag metal, start thinking about uh, Red Magneto. He just wrecks. Now I'm looking here. And I was trying to debate, you know, I was debating which one to use, you know, my six star or my five star. My five star uh, is, I believe, Max Sig. I'm not sure. Um, my six star is not. But does that make a huge difference? I don't think so. And in Act 7, you do have a bonus because you're a six star. But I decided to go in with a five star just to show that you can do it with a five star. You know, I get a lot of questions about whether five stars are still relevant. Well, this is the latest act, and I just cheesed it with a five-star OG Thor on that path, and now I'm doing the boss with a five-star Red Magneto. So certain five stars are very relevant still. You know, not every five star, obviously, but some of them are. And uh, in the next video you will see where I chose to use a five star over a six star and it actually made a difference. The five star was actually much better than the six star, okay? Who was ranked three, okay? Uh, but anyway, this fight, boss fight is pretty simple. If you fought with Magneto, you already know what you need to do. You know, bait out his specials. They're both easy to evade. Just keep doing parry heavy. And if you remember my last video where my parries didn't seem to be working properly, well, they're working now. Okay, so I got to um, a special three. Now, I want to have about 40 prowesses on before I fire off a special three. Now, in this case, it's not going to one-shot him, 
but it hurts. Just look at that. That hurts. And he still has, look at this. He got his regen going, but it doesn't matter. And look, look at his health. One more of those and he's done. Okay. So very simple fight, very straightforward. Parry heavy, build up your prowesses and let loose your uh, special three. Two of them, if you're a five star, looks like at 40 prowess and you're done. You might be able to get by with a, a special two, but I like building up to the special three. Just look at this. I, I, when that happened, I was like, wait, what? He was unblockable. How'd he get unblockable all of a sudden? Didn't really read the nose properly. Um, but I was just like, all I saw was unblockable and I'm getting bashed up, you know? And I'm like, is that what they're gonna do to me? This easy fight, is that how they're gonna take me out? Okay, but no. Got to my other special three and you already know. So he got his last licks in, that was nice, but now he's done. All right, so that's gonna do it guys for this video. Hopefully it helped you out, uh, helped you clear 7.3.2. Look for my other videos. I'm gonna have videos on every single uh, quest to help you get through uh, these quests here, all right? Uh, so take care. And uh, let's look at the uh, final ones. Yeah, there we go. All right, take care. And you all have a blessed day.